Hey everybody, welcome to Cara's Cucina. I'm Cara DeFalco. Today we are going to be making a really classic winter dessert that's beautiful but easy to make. We're making some poached pears. Great food isn't just about good ingredients and knowing how to cook, it's about telling the story of the food. Poached pears are a really, really easy dessert to make, but they just have this really elegant feel to them. They're a lot of fun to serve, so they're great for these fall, holiday, winter dinner parties and uh, just getting together with friends. So I'm using Basque pears today, and I chose them because they have that really classic pear shape, and that is, of course, what we're looking for in this dish, but you can use whatever kind of pear that you like. Uh, you can use whatever's on sale at the grocery store, and we've just completely peeled them. Now, if you want, you can take the extra step beforehand and core out the um, seeds from the bottom of the pear. I don't find this necessary because by the time you poach them, they become so soft and delicious that it's very easy for whoever is eating it to just spoon their way around the seeds and consume the rest of the pear. So I don't think it's necessary to uh, pull the bottoms out, but you can just peel them completely from their skin. Now we're going to make our uh, poaching mixture and it's going to be a combination of orange juice and water, a bit of sugar, and then we're also going to add in some orange zest, a couple of peels, as well as a cinnamon stick, a half a vanilla bean pod, and one star anise. And we're gonna bring this up to a boil or a simmer um, and make sure that sugar is melted. Our poaching liquid is at a boil, so at this point we're gonna add in our pears. And one of the reasons I like to use um, a more gently colored liquid versus a red wine or something along that line, those lines, that's delicious. However, you then have to be really conscious about turning your pears so that they color evenly. In this case, we are still gonna turn them, but we don't have to worry too much about it since our liquid and our pears are give or take the same color. So we're gonna get these in here. We're gonna cover this and let these simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes until the flesh of the pears is really nice and soft. After about 12 to 15 minutes, and your cook time is gonna depend on a couple of things, the size of your pears, how ripe they are, and how soft you want them to be. But once you get them to that point, we're gonna just spoon these out of here and put them in a bowl using a slotted spoon. And it's okay if our aromatics come out as well because we do have to pull those out. And our vanilla bean pod. Now we're gonna keep our liquid simmering and we're gonna add to it two tablespoons of brandy. And we're also gonna scrape out the seeds from the vanilla bean and put those back in as well. So for that, we just wanna go down the center of the bean, open it up, and then just run the edge of the knife straight along. Now a lot of them did come out, but we wanna get the rest of them in there. And we're gonna let this continue to simmer and boil down and concentrate until it becomes more like a syrup that we can then put over our pears. Serve your cooled pears with their poaching liquid as a drizzle and a syrup on the bottom. You can also add some vanilla ice cream if you like or some whipped cream if you prefer. Guys, if you like this recipe, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It's free cooking classes every Wednesday. Who doesn't want to know how to cook for themselves? Amazing things just like this. And of course, you can find the written recipe at caradefalco.com and you can find me at caradefalco on both Facebook and Instagram. I'll see you guys next week. Bon appetito.